Hello, I am making an attempt to help you solve word problems and make them very simple. So this is a series where we'll talk about some problems which can be solved using trigonometric relations and we will first consider special angles. Uh, I hope you remember what special angles are. We will kind of review that while solving these problems. Okay, the first problem here is top of a tree broke over by a storm falls 20 meter from its main trunk making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. What was the height of the tree? Okay, so first time when you read the problem it may not be very clear to you as what they are asking for. Okay, so let's read it slowly once again top of a tree broken from broken over by a storm falls 20 meters from its base oh i see so it falls 20 meters from its base so kind of let's try to sketch this kind of diagram well that's the well let's do like this this kind of a ground and this is a tree so the top of the tree broke like kind of somewhere from between and then you know fell down so let me say that it fell down and let's say kind of like this less okay so it, this branch just broke and fell down okay so now it broke over by a storm falls 20 meter from its main trunk so that is the main trunk and so that means this distance from here to here is 20 meters okay now what making an angle of 30 degrees with the crown. So let's say this angle here from here to here is 30 degrees. Good. So that's the situation, right? What was the height of the tree? Okay, so the height of the tree was this height plus this height. So, so now I hope you understand what the question is. Right now, let's try to solve this. So let's say the height is height of these two, yeah, okay. Now this height should be equal to this height, correct? Because it fell, correct? So let's say if this height is h1, we'll call this height as h2. But since the same branch fell over like this, that becomes h2 for us. Does it make sense to you? So it doesn't look exactly the same, but imagine that this was kind of equal, right? Let me extend it like this. Think like that. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So so that is how the problem is, and let's now try to find how we can solve for it. So this angle is given to us, and this is the base. That's the opposite side. If you know base and opposite side and the angle. Uh, then the trigonometric ratio which you should use is tan, right? So tan of 30 degrees. So what is tan of 30 degrees equals to? Okay, now here you see when it falls and we are assuming that the tree was absolutely straight and therefore this was a right angle triangle. Correct. Now 30 degrees is kind of a special angle. You remember what special angle is? Let me show you a triangle and then uh, then let's see what a special angle. I'll, I'll draw that also here itself. It's good to draw special angles. Okay. Uh, let me extend this triangle. Let us say that this is an equilateral triangle. So if it is an equilateral triangle, then all the angles will be same. So this will be 60 degrees, correct? This will be 60 degrees, correct? And let us say the sides are 2 centimeters or 2 units. So this side is equal to this side and let's say this side is 2, correct? And if this is 60 degrees, we drop a perpendicular from here. If we do so, we divide this into two equal parts, correct? So if each side is 2, then this half side will be 1. So let me write 1 here, okay? Now, and these two in an equilateral triangle, if I draw this perpendicular, then this will bisect the angle on the top. So the angle should be 
60 divided by 2, 30 degrees. So we have a 30 degrees angle here and a right angle triangle, the smaller one. Now, what should be the height of this triangle? Well, we'll use Pythagorean theorem because this is a right angle, right? So this should be 2 square minus 1 square square root, right? So which is 2 square minus 1 square square root, which is 4 minus 1, which is square root 3. So we get square root 3 here, correct? Now, this is a very good triangle. We can find tan of 60 degrees and also tan of 30 degrees. What is tan theta? Tan theta is opposite over adjacent side, right? So tan 60 will be square root 3 over 1, but tan 30 will be 1 over square root 3. Do you see that? Opposite means side opposite to the angle. If we see from 30 degrees, the side opposite is of length 1. I hope you understand the basic special triangle. Okay, We will draw this kind of sketch with most of our word problems where we really get it. And once we get it, we don't really have to explain it in so many details. It just comes to you automatically. Correct? So, let's begin. Uh, continue. Tan 30 degrees should be equal to height because opposite over base, so h1 over 20. So we'll write this as h1 over 20. Now, what is tan 30? Tan 30 is 1 over square root 3. So we'll say 1 over square root 3 is equals to h1 over 20. So from here, what is h1? So we have h1 equals to cross multiply, right? 20 over square root 3. So we got h1 now. Now how to find this hypotenuse? Well, to find hypotenuse we know 20 base. So we know at base and hypotenuse. So what should we use? We can use cos 30, correct? Right. So let's use cos 30. So we say cos 30 degrees is equals to base is 20 over, we are calling this hypotenuse as H2. Now from our special triangle, we can see what is cos of 30 degrees. Cos of 30 degrees is base is square root 3 over 2. So we will write here square root 3 over 2 equals to 20 over H2, right? This hypotenuse, which is also the broken part of our trunk, right? Now from here we can solve for h2. So we'll cross multiply and we'll bring h2 here. So we height h2 equals to 20 divided by square root 3 times 2 which is 40 square root 3. Is that okay? 40 square root 3. Correct? Now total height is Total height is combination of these two heights. Is that okay? So we say height. What was the height of the tree? So the total height of the tree is h1 plus h2, which is h1 from here is 20 over square root 3. And from here we get 40 over square root 3, which gives us 60 over square root 3. Okay? Sometimes what happens is, let me just, sometimes we don't want to put radical in the denominator. In that case, what do we do? We rationalize. Correct? Do you remember rationalization? That means we'll multiply and divide by square root 3. Okay? You could have written answer like this also, but we prefer to write it in rationalized form. So I'll show you rationalization, right? Now, in rationalization, what we do is, we got 60 over square root 3, we will multiply and divide by square root 3. So square root 3 times square root 3 is just the number 3. And here we get 60 square root 3, correct? Now you can simplify dividing 60 by 3, we get 20 square root 3, correct? So a better way of writing it is in the form of 20 square root 3. Now, since it is a word problem, we should always write our answer in words. So we say answer is, so what is the answer? 
we'll say what was the height of the tree so we say height of the tree was twenty square root three and what are the units since this twenty meters is units meter the height was also in meters height of the tree was 20 square root 3 meters right this is an exact answer if they want it in decimals they will mention and they'll sometimes mention rounded to so many decimal places if not prefer to write answers in exact numbers like this 20 square root 3 meters okay go through the problem once again it is a simple problem but here the important thing is to understand the approach and uh, see and visualize the situation so making a sketch like this helps to solve the problem okay let's go through it once again so it was given to us that a tree broke from the storm and fell 20 meters from its main trunk so that was the 20 meters from its main trunk and the broken part is this part which makes an angle of 30 degrees of course the broken part was originally on top of this stump right so therefore these two heights are same so what we did was we used special triangles here and trigonometric ratios because this is a right angle triangle we can relate height and base with tan of theta which is 30 degrees so tan 30 actually from here is 1 over square root 3 so we write 1 over square root 3 is equals to opposite side height h1 over 20 and from here we got our stump height the broken stump and then this part which was the broken part is kind of hypotenuse for our triangle so we measure it using or we found its length using cos because that is hypotenuse and we know the adjacent side so Sokatoa remember Sokatoa okay let me write so let me write it here so we say sine is opposite over hypotenuse right cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over base correct so that is Sokato right easy way to remember the trigonometric ratios now so the cos was adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is 20 over h2 and cos of 30 degrees from here is 1 okay 30 of 30 is square root 3 over 2 and then we cross multiplied getting h2 as this total height is sum of h1 and h2 correct so we added them up 20 over square root 3 plus 40 over square root 3 gives us 60 over square root 3 we did not write that as an answer because it is preferred not to write radicals in the denominator so what do we do for that we rationalize them this process of multiplying and dividing by the same radical to get rid of the denominator radical is called rationalization okay so we rationalize it so square root 3 times square root 3 is 3 and then we got 60 times square root 3 this can be simplified 60 goes 20 times by 3 so 20 square root 3 word problem should also be answered in a complete statement so here we are with the statement height of the tree was 20 square root 3 meters I hope you appreciate the method and understand how to solve the problem thank you